<laughs> What's going on? Go to trails. I'm Jimmy, and today well, I'm driving now, but today I'm gonna be shooting the Taurus G3C, the new gun to the collection. I'm excited, and I will be adding on an accessory. Stay tuned to find out what it is. All right, real quick. Uh, so I got the Taurus, the Taurus G3C, the new baby to the collection. As you see, it's clear, 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 clear. Now, one thing I gotta say is, as compact as this thing is, okay, I carry it in a belly holster. I don't have a holster for it yet, okay. Which brings me to my last video that I wanted to to, uh, to show you guys of not having a holster in place. Uh, you can improvise and check out the last video I did of how to carry a holster without, no, how to carry a fire, how to carry a gun without a holster. So I'm gonna put it in the holster, name the belly holster. Don't even know I have it. It's kind of like that's why I like this thing because you can put it uh, near your armpit to your midsection or to your uh, your hip. So, anyways, let's move on to the next video. And just so you know, it's 21 degrees. 21 degrees, and it's March, and it's cold as hell. The things that we do as YouTubers, as gun YouTubers actually, the conditions that we that we endure to give you guys this entertainment, I think it's uh, I think it's good enough for like it. So if you agree with that, leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, yeah, here we go again. Oof, like I said, these conditions. Not the best right now. It's icy, so hopefully I don't bust my butt. Ugh, but you know, now I think about it, it's kind of worth it. Kind of worth bust my butt to go to the range. I mean, obviously it won't be if I'm injured. But anyways, uh, guys, while you're at it, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any any good things. I got some great things coming up for the channel and for you guys. Um, even though I have like 45 or like 50 subscribers. I still want to show you guys appreciation in doing these videos. Um, so I got tons of ideas. So again, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming events or any upcoming ideas that I have. Whew. Wow, look at that. Those trees. Straight wind. I gotta say, man, it is freezing. Oh my God, it's freezing. Let me uh, take this. Take my gun out. I'm, I'm definitely not gonna be here for too long. Just to let you guys know that. <laughs> just let you guys know. All right, so the gun is clear. All right. Ah, oh, man, this is what this is why it sucks living in New England because you gotta deal with this freezing cold. But I'm gonna try anyways. All right, again, excuse the wind. Putting on my shooting gloves, which is my Under Armour training gloves. Uh, works just as good. Oh my God. All right, so I got, this is, this is a 10 round mag. I got eight, I got nine in there. One more, if I can get it. Yes, the struggle is very real. All right, good, go. Good to go. Here we go. All right. So as you seen, there's no target there. I'm just gonna just shoot and just kind of get a feel for the gun. Get the, you know, get a feel for the trigger, the handle. Um, see the recoil. The target is right there. Here we go. Nice and smooth. Honestly, the gun shoots perfect. Uh, take these off for a second. Whew. All right, so now I'm gonna shoot some uh, some Winchesters I picked up at the at the gun shop. 
uh, full metal jackets. Again, gonna load this magazine. I like it so far. Not bad. So one thing I do want to say though, this trigger, man, this trigger is it's pretty good. Um, almost equivalent to, I would say, like a Jonic TPS FX, uh, which I do have. That's what, I, that's what I'm going to pair it to. Uh, trigger is, is crazy. It's phenomenal, actually. So not bad for a $300 gun. Um, you, get three, you get three mags as well, too. Uh, safety, perfect. Nothing wrong with it. Love how it shoots. Uh, the sights kind of have to get used to the sights but you know not bad so i mentioned in the in the beginning of the video actually that i will be adding on a, an accessory unfortunately due to the uh the weather conditions how cold it is i can't really show you guys um and do like an up close uh up close video on that because the wind and everything you know but maybe that's for a later time so stay tuned again again this gun perfect Get 300 bucks. I got it for about 350. Um, highly recommended. Uh, this actually is gonna be my EDC. This is gonna be my everyday carry. Uh, just because I love how it shoots. I'm just shooting already. I'm very confident. Um, as far as the sights, as far as the the, the recoil, perfect. Um, actually, the sights aren't that perfect, but you know I could do some adjustments with that. But recoil handles perfectly, perfectly well. Uh, the sights. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys actually what I'm shooting. Just so you guys know that I ain't shooting, uh, you know, wind here. Yeah, this is actually what I'm shooting. Again, nothing too crazy. I just want to just show you guys what, uh, what's going on. Got a bunch of holes right here. All right. Um, <laughs> shell cases are probably gonna melt the snow. But to melt this type of snow, this is this is at least what, I'd say like seven inches. Of just pure ice, I guess. Not ice, but like hard ass snow. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's cold. My hands are, look at that. Look how, look how red my hands are. Ah, oh, man, but I'm glad I got it done. I, I'm glad I at least got to shoot it. I'm glad I at least got to feel the trigger. I got to see the sights. Got to shoot the gun. Uh, anyways, so there you have it. Obviously, this video is not like I intended I, I intended it to be. See, my mouth is so frozen where I can't even get my words out. It's not as it's not intended it. <laughs> it's not how I want it to be, right? Uh, but still got it for you guys. Again, guys, leave a like, uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you think this is in your opinion. I want to know your opinion. If you think this gun is good for EDC, as as cheap as it is, for me, um, I knew that you know this by feeling you know putting my pa my palm around the gun and first holding it i know that it's it was gonna be my edc i just want to make sure that the gun was fun functioning even though it was brand new but you never know that the gun was uh, functioning and the and i and, and i like the trigger and i was confident in shooting the trigger and getting my shots off with no issues um it's not it's not a long trigger pull like the like my my previous uh edc i ruger lc9 um and you know, I don't like long trigger pulls. That's just not. I don't. I don't like it. Um, but I got I, again. I'm glad I got a feel for it. So as my boogers run down my nose, um, I'm gonna head back. Um, and <laughs> you know, guys, I, I want to say this. Even though you know, a couple months ago, um, I, I my decision was to not have this channel up. Um, but you know, it's shooting guns and collecting guns and and reviewing guns and gun shopping is just i i love it it's my hobby um so i figured you know why not do it uh why not continue on doing it you know as opposed to just creating something else on youtube um you know i, I want to keep the channel going as, as long as as youtube goes or as long as i collect my my guns and walk my trails um so yeah you know i i, I want to thank you guys again for the comments that you guys leave for some reason to this day it's been about nine months since i uploaded uh, that Smith and Wesson SC40 VE uh, VE video, and it's it's just still getting 
traction. I don't understand how, but you know, whatever. I'm so I'm gonna do another review on that, kind of like a part two to that, and doing it a more sophisticated way because I have a better camera quality and I know my terminology now, right? I got, you know, I know the conversation. You guys kind of, you know, uh, roasted me for not knowing my terminology, but it's all good now. Okay. So, um, even I hate to cut this video short, but it, I'm sorry, guys. This is cold, and my hands just couldn't do it anymore. Um, good thing I have this this balaclava from Under Armour. Um, but I don't know. I just I hate I hate the cold weather. I'm from the city, so I'm not, I'm still not used to this cold weather. I've been in New England for about 11 years, dealing with 11 seasons of snow. And we all know that here in the east, it's not as hot as, as you know, down south is. So we gotta adapt and we gotta do what we gotta do. So as always guys, I appreciate you guys. Uh, again, I can't say it enough. Leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel. I, had, I have a ton, tons of ideas uh, to just uh, show you guys and to tell you guys what's going on with the channel furthermore down the road. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get something to eat, get warm. And this, uh, <laughs> nothing to it, is driving to this range. Uh, if you guys are ever in the Berkshires, make sure you go ahead and visit the Lee Sportsman Club. Uh, great club, great people. Um, I, I always seem like I had this place to myself, which I do love because, I mean, even though I love my my fellow gun owners, you know, there's some days where you just want days to yourself, and you know, every, most every time I get here, it's kind of just, it's, it's almost like that, so I, I appreciate that. And even though I've shot, 20 rounds, you know, I shot two mags. Um, I can't find any fault in the gun. I can't find any flaws within the gun. And I know my thing is if it's if it's too good to be true, chances are that it is. I think my only thing is, honestly, guys, it's got to be those sights, man. I want all three sights to be visible, not just, you know, the, the one in the center. Which, again, I don't mind because I'm used to shooting um, you know, pistols in period. period. But for the, new, for, for the newbie... Uh, I would highly suggest you guys taking some time and, and learning the sights, right? As opposed to just trying to shoot your targets, if you know what I mean. So that's the only thing. Uh, I I would give the gun, honestly, guys, a 9 out of 10. Um, and that's very accurate as, as in my part. And for the price, again, man, you can't beat that price. Taurus did a great job making that gun, the G3C. Uh, and you get three mags with it. Trigger's crazy good. Um... I don't want to overhype the gun a lot, right? Because I know some people they, you know, they're, they're all about price and guns and all that stuff. But you know, for my 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 thing is, guys, if the gun shoots good, it shoots good. If it works good, it works good. If you can hit your targets with no issues, then you can hit targets with no issues. And plus, it's a, it's a compact gun, and you get and on top of that, you also you also get uh, nine round, um, ten rounds. You get ten rounds, right? You're not limited to, you know, seven like my. Ruger LC9. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna cut this video short. That's, that sun is beaming. I'm gonna cut this video short. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Again, I have tons of ideas. I don't want you guys to miss it. Um, and hopefully, in the upcoming, in the foreseen future, it will be some great things along with this channel, right? And show you guys, show you my subscribers uh, some cool stuff, right? So it's gonna trails. I'm Jimmy signing out. I gotta keep driving. Peace.